Hello and welcome to another budget and leg it video. We've got a couple of goodies from Die Tech here. I'm looking forward to reviewing these. This is just going to be a quick unboxing. We have two separate packages. We have the car scope eye test and then we have some accessories for it, which is separate to this. Um, also, when I get into this, I'll be showing you other videos on how to use this. There's a lot, lot more features coming out on this bad boy. What they're going to be doing with it is going to be unbelievable. But what I like about it is it's just how quick, fast and easy this is to use. You don't really need any qual any training or anything with this thing. You just literally plug and play. So let's get into it, see what it looks like, see how it's, well does and all that sort of stuff yeah sorted so when it came in the big box it was all packaged nice with all this foam stuff which was nice it wasn't just chucked in there you know they actually took a bit of care with it um, i've already opened it and kind of played with it a little bit but when you open it first we do get a message by basically saying we do need to put a cr2032 uh, coin battery cell in it because they can't be shipped you know in airplanes with lithium cells it causes a nightmare it's not the end of the world most uh, key fobs have it any motor factors will have them you know they're very easy to come across but you do need to put a battery in i'll put a picture here now of all you got to do is take four screws from the back of the unit so i'll put a picture there now and show you what it looks like As you can see, very simple. So we've got three things in the box, well actually four if you can include the destructions. So what I'm gonna do is, let me just get all these out of the packaging and uh, show you what we've got. Now this is the main unit. I must admit it does feel very well built. Nice and, you know, nice and hard. Doesn't feel cheap, crappy or anything. Bit of weight to it, which is nice. We have an SD card down here, which can be used for updating the device, but also for saving um, all the waveforms and all the data. You can put it to your phone, your computer and all sorts, and you can actually go through it, which is really, really handy. And like I said, the features that are coming out for this bad boy is unbelievable. Now we have a couple of different connections up here for different test procedures. But we have the main cable here. Now, also what I like about it is it does feel like silicon hoses. They are silicon. They're not just cheap, horrible plastic. They're actually silicon, which is really, really nice. And then we have the mains uh, adapter here with the BNC. Um, and again, I think this is according to, yeah, 150 um, copper wire in there, which is really handy. So, that's essentially what you get with the first unit but like i said what i really like about this is what they've told me the the add-ons are going to be to do a relative compression test in this takes seconds absolutely the quickest thing you'll ever have um you know, it's, just, it's just on it's done bang and this is what we do that with um but let's just get into um like i said i'm not going to really do anything with it in this video this is just showing you what you can get with it and what you can actually do with it we have a couple of inputs here at the top so what we got is we got a couple of inputs at the top we've got our dual purpose input here we've got our low voltage input which is zero to two volts and then we've got our zero to 50 volts input there um, so that's essentially what you get with the kit but what I like about this is, you know, especially if you're going to buy a car or anything like that, you can quickly take this with you, do a relative compression test. It's not going to take up any room, really fast and easy. You know, you can check the condition of the engine. You can just do a lot of stuff with it. And it's just very, very handy and portable. So we're going to be doing more videos on this, how to do compression tests. We're going to be going through some of the features. And obviously when we add or when they add other features onto it, we will be going through the other features. But at the minute, I have to say, I am rather impressed. Um, I'm not 100% sure of the price unit, but from what I did see, it was very, very reasonable price. It wasn't expensive at all, really, for what it does. Um, and like I said, the quality of the leads, they haven't cheaped out on there. These are proper silicon leads. Really, really nice clips on the end. You know, they haven't gone cheap there, which is really nice. So that's the actual main unit. And let's get on to the other bits they sent me. Joys are doing YouTube videos when you're just talking to yourself because the camera isn't rolling. So these are our inputs at the top. We've got our dual purpose input here, which we use for our relative compression for the connection to our battery. Then we have a measurement or sync input here. So this is where we can, we can do the syncing 
for our relative compression and then we have a sink and voltage measurement here because also this is a voltmeter in here as well as a compression tester and like i said there is more um, options going to be added very very soon what i'll obviously do is leave all the information down below in the description they've actually got a youtube um, page where i'll leave that i'll leave all their contact details where you can get a hold of them you can see where you can buy this from how much it is etc because depending where you are in the world it's like everything you have to go to different places so if you just contact them tell them i sent you they will look after you so this is um extra this is you don't get this with the kit but this is extra stuff that um uh, what that you can actually use on the machine so we have a 10 to 1 attenuator you just see it there depend on what you're actually doing you know we have an inductive pickup and we have some back probes here and plus we also have a spare connection um, which we can actually plug a couple of wires on and we can use where is it So we can use the dual input there and actually make our own wires depending if you want to test other things so that's really handy too so let me just take this out of the packaging and let's see exactly what we get okay so the back probes really speak for themselves there's no point in me going into them we've got some that are except banana jacks and just some straight in connections there we have a tenue on in your uh, attenuator again that's straightforward enough and then we have the inductive pickup clamp here so what you can actually do is you can time a cylinder so when you do a relative compression test if you put this on cylinder number one two three blah 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 we can actually see the firing order and which cylinder is dead so let's say we have a dead cylinder we're testing a car we want to know what cylinder it is if you buy this as an extra thing you can actually see what cylinder is what so you can actually time it together which is really handy now again the lead feels really nice quality bnc connection at the end the clamp it feels okay um so yeah what we're going to do is in the next videos we are going to show you how to use this bad boy and just how quick it is that's the important thing how quick and fast this is going to be and also once the other features come onto it we'll show you the other features but what's really uh, good about it is like i said you don't really need to know any you know train or anything like that you just plug the leads into the battery so for example here straight onto the battery straight onto the machine press the button go to compression it'll tell you how long to crank for and that's it and then it will tell you afterwards if you've got one of these you put it to your ht leads and that's it you'll get the timing and within seconds you'll know basically the condition of your engine if you've got a dead cylinder or what and then you can take your diagnosis from there but at the end of the day if you can save yourself time to diagnose a car quicker that's what it's all about saving time and not only that, like I said, you're going to buy a second-hand car or something like that. You can quickly bring this with you. If you're going to get, you know, your engine mapped or anything like that and you want to check the condition, well, you can do it. And also, when I map cars, that's the, one of the first things I do is because I, I want to see the condition of that engine so the person can oh, you blew up my engine. They will know your engine was already destroyed in the first place. And this, you can do it in seconds. And like I said, I really do like it. So that's it, people. That's the uh, Ditec car scope eye tester now i haven't really gone through the instructions that much we'll kind of do that in another video um but it does certainly show you a lot of stuff depending what you want to do what pickups you've got what kind of um there we go uh, what kind of package you want to go for you know if you want to get the extra induction clamps and stuff like that and all that good stuff so there we go next videos are going to be using this bad boy and let's see what it's really like in the field so look hope it helps please like share subscribe all the usual don't forget check out my facebook patreon instagram all the links down below all the links are going to be down below to this bad boy to their facebook page to their um youtube channel and all that good stuff but most importantly don't forget get your hands dirty see you for the next one so it's